So today we're here. We're gonna build this. Um, we're gonna build two pier here. We're gonna go up around 33 inches high. I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to do this if it's something that you're interested in learning how to do. So before we jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more fun videos like this one. Let's get started. First thing we gotta do, we gotta plumb. Make sure our column is plumb. So we're gonna work with 11 inches, guys. Just wanna put it here. Just to check. You have two other pieces, son? Just go through. Okay, so you're just gonna get some medium, cut four medium, see where you see a measurement of this. Leave me up with him. Eh? Eh? Just like so guys, once you get it nice and square, just gonna mark it. Me know, me know, but you're not gonna find everything in 11, so that's why I say I'm gonna cut some, so whatever you find, you bring in 11 and then you cut the rest. You wanna line up, make sure you mark it square, right around. We're gonna wet our surface before we start to install our stone to it. First one. Tell us if you don't listen to Christopher, we actually have to tell us. Eh? We move fast, don't we'll listen to him. Okay guys, so let's put our level. Looking for a half an inch joint here. It's quick. We'll so level across like this. This is just check to see if it's plumb. <coughs> square we're just gonna put our square on it, on it make sure that it's nice and square looks good to me now we're good to go now we can continue on Okay. 
Okay, guys, so once you complete the pier, you want to put your, put your cobble. You want to put your level like so. Come Make in. sure you plumb all the corners. I'm going to go through and plumb all four corners. Why? I think you might have to go give me this. The top in the bottom a little bit, the top it in the bottom. Beautiful. Beautiful guys. Beautiful. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Today's a beautiful day. Okay, so this is how it is. Complete this one. We still have one more over there to do. It's the same procedure. You gotta follow to finish this one. We have a limited amount of stone. That's why we do it the way we do it here. I think it's pretty nice. Still have to do the wire brushing. Good, isn't it? Hey guys, so you see the rain came down yesterday. We didn't get to do our drying thing. So now I'm just removing my plastic. We're gonna do the drying thing today. It's a new day today. Whichever, whichever way works for you. So guys, this is from yesterday, and as you see, it's still nicely. It's still, it's still drainable. So you still can leave your joint overnight just in case you have any rain or anything you can leave your joint overnight and come back and do them later on and do them the next day because if i were to do this yesterday it will make a mess on the stone and we don't want that so it's very important to leave it overnight and you come back the next day and and do it you know okay guys so we're gonna put a weeping hole at the back here just in case the you know, water gets inside later on we'll escape and come to the weeping hole here well okay guys there you have it Hope you get value from this video. If you do get value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun video like this one. For this, uh, for this pier here, later on, we're gonna put in, uh, put on our cap that's gonna include it in the, in the precast. The same guy gonna make that. So this is where I finish with this pier. Subscribe for that, the, the precast installation. Hit the notification bell so when I upload that video, you get notified and you can come back and watch it. Be safe out there. Peace out now.